before I came into Windward, my life sucked. I was uh, homeless on the street and in and out of treatment. Um, no one wanted to be around me. So I was either, um, the only reason I go around them is either steal from them or get something from them. My family either was mad at me or they'd be crying. It was just miserable. Before I came to Windward, man, it was a mess. Um, I've been using for the past two years and I've burned everything to the ground. Everything I owned, I've gotten rid of, I've sold it. I don't know, man, I just ruined everything. Before coming to Windward Way, I was an absolute mess. My life had become completely unmanageable in every sense. Um, at one point in time, I actually did have control over my life, you know? Before I came to Windward, I mean, it would be, be hard to even deem it a life, you know? I mean, past eight years of my life, it's just been in and out of treatment, in and out of jail, or, you know, I've been strung out. I mean, that, that pretty much sums up my life. I mean, to call it a life would be a shame, honestly. Before I came to Windward, uh, my life wasn't much. I was broken, lost, alone, strung out. I didn't have anything, no friends. Family wanted nothing to do with me, running in the streets, running amok. I got into high school and I started sports and I started wrestling and, you know, injuries led me to taking prescription painkillers that, you know, escalated into other things. And at that time, I was unaware of the pain that it would bring me in my life. Because I love my family. I wouldn't, like, want to do anything to hurt them and then just see them cry and hurt because of my decisions, my choices, bad. I didn't really have too many relationships. I mean, I pretty much isolated the entire time when I was using, but with my family, man, I lied to them, you know, cheated them, stole everything from them, thousands of dollars, and uh, they disowned me for a little while. I was detrimental to all relationships that I had in my life. Um, my family had wanted nothing to do with me. I'd show up at their house, they wouldn't open the door for me. Um, all my friends cut me off because I would lie, cheat, steal from them, and do whatever it took to get high. As far as my family goes, I mean, I haven't spoke to my mother in eight years. I think it'll be eight years come, come April. You know, my father, I don't speak to him. I mean, I don't really have anything to say, nor do they have anything to say to me. Every relationship I've ever, ever cared about has absolutely been just decimated by my addiction. Welcome to Big Bear. Oh, my life's changed quite a bit. I mean, like my family doesn't worry about me going around like stealing from them and stuff. They feel more comfortable around me. I feel more comfortable around them. We just like sit and talk and have a good time. It's nice. This experience in itself, I mean, I've, 
I mean, I've spent the majority of my life, you know, addicted, addicted to hard drugs, and I mean, I've, I've never been snowboarding, I've never been skiing, I've never done anything fun, so I mean, this, this opportunity has honestly changed my life, you know, when you're stuck in the grips of addiction, you really forget about what it's like to have a good time, what it's like, you know, to be a kid. Biggest change of me coming to Windward Way, I think just acceptance, accepting what I'm doing. I've never accepted that I'm an addict or anything or the program. I've never worked any of the steps, but really never, you know, followed what I was supposed to do or took direction. And this time I'm actually doing that and it's changing my life every day. Before I came to Windward Way, I was so desperate for a change. I had known God once before and I knew that I needed to find him again because I was an absolute wreck. Since I came to Windward, I have found a sense of peace. I'm starting to feel better about myself physically and mentally and emotionally. Um, I can now build relationships with people that aren't surrounded by drugs. My snowboarding experience at Big Bear, it's been awesome, man. I, I love to snowboard. I mean, I grew up in Wyoming, grew up snowboarding. Um, and just getting to do this again, uh, it's amazing, man. I didn't think I'd ever like enjoy this stuff again. It's a life changer. It's like makes being sober so much better. To make me experience out here in Big Bear has been amazing, you know. I used to come out here in my childhood, ski these lakes and snowboard these mountains and, you know, this weekend I got a little taste of my youth, you know, the good old days. Big Bear experience has been awesome. I've had nothing but fun and I've grown close with a lot of these guys that I've been with so far and I would love to do it again. opportunity to come up here with you know the whole crew of guys we came with you know it's a brotherhood and like you know we all love each other and we all care about each other and it's just like man it, it has seriously changed my life coming up here I'm so blessed for this opportunity people people like myself don't get to do things like this it's an amazing experience